Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, mainly gentlemen, because that's the only people that are watching. But we got a very special collaboration coming this week, part two of a very extended period of time of not running this collaboration. We finally have it. Part one, I, I was actually part of. I copped some pieces. I remember I copped the hat, the T, not the T, the jacket. And I think that was what I did. The red hat, I remember for sure because that was a brick. I, it took me forever to sell. And the jacket. I don't remember. I sold that pretty quick. Category, so it's such a dope jacket in my opinion. And to be honest, I think part one is better than this part. This is part two. Only difference is that with this part is that there's a million different items. Not a million. You know, I'm being sarcastic, but there's a bunch of different items dropping. Like hella, hella different items. And of course, I'm talking about the Lacoste, Lacoste, Supreme Lacoste, Lacoste, whatever you want to call it, collaboration. We know we got the Crocs out here, the Crocodile. Um, yeah, this is part two. Part one happened uh, exactly a year ago. Well, not exactly, but around the year ago of the season. And that's dropping this week. So if you're trying to sign up, make sure to sign up tomorrow at Tuesday, 11 a.m. Because if you don't, then you're beat ski and you cannot get a spot, unfortunately. Without further ado, though, let's head right into it. So uh, before I start, though, I will be doing retail wrestle estimations on Wednesday. Uh, today is just a straight talk about the items, comparing them to what happened last season. I mean, two seasons ago, part part one of the collab, and discussing a potential box logo. Yes, a potential box logo. You heard that right. It is confirmed that there is an unseen T, almost 100% confirmed dropping, as well as accessories. Two accessories. One of them will be definitely dropping. I'll be dis discussing that at the end as well, and you will want to stay tuned because they're extremely hyped, and you can make some shmoney. Shmoney game. First off, I don't normally run my stuff from least hype to most hype, but this time I'm just going to go straight into it. And we're going to start with the Velour track pants. These track pants speak for itself, basically nothing special, just regular Velour track pants. They got the crocodile on the top right, right up here on the waist, if you guys can see. Uh, I'm going to have pictures all up over here, that's why I'm a little tilted to the side. I photoshopped them, I cut out the background. I tried my best, don't hate me on it, but I'm not the great at technology, but that's what I was able to do. So those first we're starting with the Velour track pants, dropping in four five colorways all the I, cro I also cropped out the white uh part of the collaboration the white items because they were super hard to crop out so i decided just to cut those out but it's just the white everything is the same besides the white color but we got the lord track pants black green peach orange and white bricks in my opinion i don't really like them at all that much they're a lot of down boats down boats shout out to sub community as well but we got the supreme lacoste camp cap it's dropping in a black green uh, like a light baby blue white and peach uh, pretty much pretty basic, has Supreme Rain on the back left part, has like stripes going down, only really seen on the black green and kind of on the white, on the peach and blue, you can't really see it. Also has an infamous crocodile on the right side, the right side. Personally, I like Lacoste, uh, Lacoste, I pronounce Lacoste, whatever you guys want to say, but a lot of people don't, I don't know, I, I like it, they have a lot of history and it's pretty, they have, they, I mean, they, they're really known for their polos and a lot of older People wear it, but like I still like it. I, mean, I, I have one pair of shorts from there, but that's about it. Then we move on to the Supreme Lacoste nylon track pant. Uh, these pretty much look like a pajama pants. They're the same design as the the camp cap that is dropping. The same like plaid-ish type stripes going on. Uh, the only thing that I really do like is the Supreme logo going down the left pants. These will be bricks, unfortunately, even though they are type nice, because every one of these pants are just going to be probably around the 138 range and bricks, because you know it's pretty expensive retail. We'll move on to the Supreme Lacoste Velour Polo. This same design featured on the left chesticle will be featured on the hoodie as well as a few other pieces, including a jacket if I'm not mistaken, but we'll dive into that later. This is pretty much just a regular polo. They're known for the polo, but this is a Velour Polo. Similar quality to the one that dropped previously with the Gucci stripe going down it uh, two weeks ago or three weeks, three weeks ago, my mistake, that dropped for $118. I remember that because I went in store for that, but they did not have it. Oh, well, this was... We're dropping this in uh, the same five colorways as the hat and the track pants so far. All these items are pretty much the same colorways. Just, they're just keeping the same the, the same schmo go, you know what I'm saying? Then we got the Supreme Velour Half Zip Track Top. They're doing, uh, they're focusing on Velour on part of the collection that's dropping Thursday. A lot of Velour stuff going on. I personally don't like Velour. I don't like the material. I don't like the way it feels and looks on me personally. If you guys like it, go ahead and copy because you know it's all about what you like yourself. If you're trying to resell, I mean... You do you. I'm not going to say nothing about that. We'll get to that on Retail Resale Estimation Day. Pretty much the same color. Just going to be a half zip going down. Uh, pretty It looks comfortable though. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Staying with the hats though. 
We got the Supreme Collab Twill 6 panel. The same logo that I said was featured on the polo is featured on the front of this hat. It's th the thing is though, that I'm super hyped is that it's finally a dad hat, like a dad camp hat. Because uh, that's what it looks though. Supreme has not dropped one for a fat, fat minute. And that's what I hate because I only rock dad caps like this type of, with the twilted, uh, yeah. I mean the bent brim. Dad. That's the only hats I rock. I don't rock flat brims no more. That's like something I would rock in the sixth grade, but not no more. Pretty much, this, this is dropping in six multitude of colorways, black, navy, peach, I mean khaki, red, green, pink, and white. And those are definitely cops. I just realized that they are die camps. Before I looked at this, I thought they weren't, and now I just realized they were, so it's enough of a cop. But we'll leave the rest of the accessories for the end because they're the most tight. Then we go to the sweat shorts, pretty much regular shorts with the same color. They look like they're made out of like uh, nice, thick quality. Normal shorts, not basketball shorts, however, just like lounge shorts. You're trying to chill at home, play some Fortnite, you know what I'm saying? Then we move on to the Supreme Lacoste Nylon Anorak. Anoraks are normally normally always bricks. One thing that's good is that it has the Supreme logo going on the back. The same design as the the nylon track pants. You can pretty much get a full fit. Like shout out to Young Nav, Gully Guy, Leo, and all of them because they're about to get some crazy fits going. Because there's like literally three full fits you could rock with this just this one collaboration. All different colors. I mean, there's hell opportunity here to get lit on the IG. Speaking of the IG, make sure to check out mine at Thomas Burger. You know, plug talk. However, we're gonna stay on task and move on to the hooded sweatshirt. Same design as those on the polo, as well as on the shorts. Dropping the same colorway as the shorts, which is, as I said before, black, navy, khaki, red, green, peach, and white. Pretty fire in my opinion. I personally do not like, uh, this is not the hoodie I'm going for. I'm not trying to stay light this week because there's a lot going on, a lot of money talk going. So I'm trying to stay light on it because I might be making a pretty big purchase soon. So we're staying light on the bank account, trying not to dent it too much. But unfortunately, that will probably happen anyways. But this, I don't know, I'm not really... Rocking with this hoodie doesn't have a big logo or anything, just a normal plain ass. It has a logo, it has like a patch right here. Probably looks embroidered, which is the only good part because the rest of the collection is mainly not embroidered with other designs, unfortunately. Now we move on to my favorite part, which is a crew neck. Crew neck, I'm definitely copying because nice Supreme font logo. However, the only problem is if they just made it white. Like, why does Supreme gotta do this this season? I've noticed a lot of things is like either black on black, blue on blue, green on green. Like, it's the same tonal colorway. It doesn't have anything that pops. The only thing that's popping on this crew neck is the gator. But still, hands down, such a nice piece. In my opinion, I'm gonna be going for red personally for the personal. You know, for the personal boys, let's get it. And then they're dropping the same colorways. The other colorway that I think might be, do, be doing good is pink as well. Pink is always a hitter with this collab, and so is red. Red for Prime, you know what I'm saying? And then we move on to the probably the most hyped item, but it will also be the most expensive of the collaboration, is the Wool Varsity jacket. Everyone likes this. I personally like it a lot, especially the Gucci colorway. Oh my god, this thing looks fire, dude. On the back, the patch has Supreme. It has the same patch as the hoodie and the shorts, except it's blown up on the back, so you can see it much clearer, which makes it a much better item. It has Supreme on the top, a gator, and then Lacoste and, and the circle. Boys, oh my gosh, if you guys can get a small on this, your bank account's gonna be fine after you sell this. Because it has the Gucci ribbing right here on the cuffs, the neck, and the waist. Super nice piece. I mean, I would love to rock it myself, but I'm expecting retail to be around three middle, the middle of 300, around there. Because, I don't know, varsity jackets, they always tax on this, boys. Like, always, unfortunately. But that's really the only color I would personally go for. There's also the black. Oh, wait. They all have the Gucci colorway. Damn, I just... My bad, y'all, once again. Damn, they have the black and the peach with the same color. So, honestly, hit whatever you want because this Gucci type is fire. Favorite would be the blue, navy, and the green as of right now. So, without further ado, let's move into my favorite pieces, which is the shoulder bag. I'm dropping in green, black, red, and white. Unfortunately, these are very faint, distinct branding, so you can't tell from far away. Besides, on the strap, this strap looks fuego. On Supreme New York's IG page, they posted a fit with the shoulder bag with the green one and the Supreme Pops. I didn't think it would pop that much, but it definitely pops in that picture. Maybe some little Photoshop action going on, but you know, who knows, who knows. Uh, but that's definitely a cop because the red one will hit. Hella upvotes for it. Only 1,000 downloads, once 6,000 upvotes. Then we got the Fanny Pack. Fanny Pack's doing a little less, not as much of a hit. Uh, I agree because Fanny Packs are a lot harder to rock. If you're a Fanny Pack guy, go for I know my boy at the Bora Kid is definitely going for the Fanny Pack because he's a... He loves the fannies. I featured him. I'm going to be featuring him, actually. You guys don't even know about him. But I'm going to feature him with this crazy outfit we wore. he wore to school. Uh, it's a banger, so you better stay tuned for that. But, uh, yeah, that fanny pack's definitely going to be 
maybe like you can make probably forty dollars. But that's we're not getting to money because we don't know retail as of right now. That's for Wednesday. Then we go to the last and final, and my favorite piece is the velour bucket hat. I know I didn't say I know I said I don't like velour. However, this one, the peach one, is definitely a cop for me. That if, that, if that's what I walk away with. Eh. I mean, I wish I could walk with more, but I ain't gonna be greedy no more. I guess I normally am. I'll, I'll take it, man. I just love the bucket. I love the bucket hats at Supreme Drops a lot of times. But that's it with the collab. But we're not done yet, as I said in the beginning. There are two rumored items to be dropping, okay? One is the raft. The Supreme raft that was featured in the lookbook, you know, this season. They're, they're all with the camping vibes. You know, they're trying to buy out with the campers. If you're a camper, this season is definitely for you. Especially all the freaking accessories. So it's either going to be the raft... You know, the little canoe type thing going on. And then inflatable one, of course, because you're not going to ship you a ginormous-ass canoe coming from Preem. But anyways, oh, it's definitely going to be a cop, bros. It's either the raft or the life jacket. And the life jacket's even more fire because it goes perfectly with the canoe. But if you know you get the canoe inflatable, you got to get the life, ja the life jacket. I don't know what I'm stumbling for. If you got them, you got to take a fire pivot. Go in your local creek, go in your local river, and hop in that raft and chill with that jacket. And, of course, you got to rock that bogo on top. And you are one hano going to blow up 100 game and then of course there's a rumored uh shirt going down i'll put up the mock-up right here that uh, i got my hands on but shout out to the guy who's copyrighted the watermark i don't even know who it is but yeah that bogo would be fire it's a bogo coming out of the crux mouth but yeah that's pretty much it that's a rumored bogo damn i think my power just went out oh well you guys just saw that shit live uh so then anyways make sure to like subscribe sorry if we got a little dark right now you probably can't see me but uh yeah well we only got natural light Giveaways in the comment in the description below. We got the gloves right here. Bang, it could be your card just right now because I've had a hell of stuff on it, but that could be yours for retail. That gloves right there, just gotta come out. Just gotta subscribe, check out my IG, follow me. Please, much appreciate. Thank you guys very much. Thank you guys for blowing up my, I mean, YouTube is going great. We've got 1.2K, we're going big. Thank you guys so much if you guys subscribe. If you enjoyed, make sure to just comment, like, subscribe. Anyways, sorry for talking so fast, but peace. Good luck, y'all.